this will be coming up in novel that is that uh, Libros, uh, my friend Manolis over there is going to publish next January called Secrets Kept, Secrets Told, and it gets into quite a bit of this time. I'm going to read you another one from that time. I didn't write it down here again. Uh, Handyman's Delight. I lived in Seashelt for, and I don't know if I've shared, some of these I might have already shared with you, but I lived in Seashelt for nine and a half years. And this is where I wrote the novel that's going to come out next January. Uh, the first uh, 10 of the t first ten of about 50 drafts of that one. And uh, so anyway, this one, uh, and you oh, the light. I chose to live high on that hill above the ocean in that tiny house that needed so much care from top to bottom and where rats scurried then sat glaring from basement corners. Those same rats ran across my bed at night and tickled with their whiskers while I tried in vain to sleep to the coughing and the sputtering and the squeaking of the oil first furnace reeking while centipedes and spiders crawled across my pillow in the dark. Smoky rays of morning sun peeked through the rickety blind that hung by a thread over the sliding glass doors to the patio with the cracked cement. Ants marched single file in sneaking columns under the door to the Coca-Cola can that sat in front of the dusty brick fireplace full of soggy newspapers and rusty tins. All that was better far than natter, natter, Natter. Best revenge. Uh, I to an unhappy divorce is living a happy life. <laughs> yeah. um, I read that somewhere. <laughs> the appointment. The same book. This is in Vancouver. You probably recognize it. It's Friday in the busy city. The angry traffic crawls, stops, crawls. At last I park and coin the meter, run the three blocks to the clinic. Late as always, always late. In the waiting room I wait midst phlegmy coughs and dour-faced matrons and squalling kids with runny noses. The thundering clock ticks, ticks, ticks. The parking meter clicks, clicks, clicks. Still I wait, wait and fidget. I toy with a magazine, last year's copy, pages missing. I grab a coin from my change purse and tell the nurse I'll be right back and run hard to the expired meter. Damn, too late. I see a ticket on the windshield. Send your check to the bylaws office. Pay at once, don't be late. I run back to the doctor's office and the nurse has called my name. Dr. Jones was called away. Let me set a new appointment. How's a week from yesterday? <laughs> this is uh, Billy's Bullfrog, 12. Billy caught a bullfrog. He kept it in a jar and fed it flies and spiders and would pet it by the hour. Billy caught a garter snake down by the garden pool. And though his dad forbade it, took both to Sunday school. Now, frogs and snakes are harmless, I'm sure you'll all agree, so Billy took them from the jar for everyone to see. He showed the snake to Betty Jane and she let out a scream. Next thing, two of the other girls began to make a scene. The congregation sang a hymn of creatures great and small and listened to a sermon about peace on earth for all. The pastor spoke of children, of blessings and of joys and the happiness of parents and Heavens, what's that noise? Billy had a bullfrog and a baby garter snake. But taking them to Sunday school was a very sad mistake. <laughs> and uh, a young lady <laughs> shopping with her mommy. She had her own little cart. When we go shopping, my mummy and me, she buys all the groceries like brown bread and tea and liver and onions and ooh properly. <laughs> I buy what's important like ketchup and jam and licorice and corn pops and apples and ham. I buy crunchy and munchy and red seedless grapes and oodles of noodles and chocolate 
and dates. I buy sweet buns and ice cream and sweet apple jack. <laughs> then when we're finished, Mum puts mine back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I have chat books. I have for a very reasonably priced. I have poetry books. I also have copies of the novel. And I have some flyers if you're interested in looking at it and maybe going to your library. See if you can get some of this material.